Begin with your circle lenses. Before we start, I'd just like to say that a couple of days before I recorded this, I broke out like crazy because of my eating habits, so I apologize how I look right now. I always moisturize my face before I apply my foundation to make sure that my face doesn't become dry, but you can do this however you want. Then apply your foundation all over the face and the neck for even coverage. After this, you can use primer and powder afterwards for a more finished look, but I don't have those. Find a shade of brown darker than your original skin tone and apply this to the sides of the nose. This is the basic contouring, so you will be going over it later on. Use a fluffy angled brush and contour the sides of the face by sucking in your cheeks if you can't see the natural line. Use a black pencil liner to line the upper lash line. This is called tight lining, something that can define the eyes and its shape. Remember to line the inner corners as well. Use a fluffy brush that can pick up a lot of eyeshadow and apply a light cream colour on the brow bone for a highlight. Apply a light beige eyeshadow over the entire eyelid as a base colour, something that will give a warm undertone to the rest of the colours we'll be using. Use an atomic tangerine colour above the eyelid on the outer edge and sweep it in. This will add more warmth. Now with a copper colour, apply this on the outer corner of the eye and dig it into the crease for a more defined eye. I'm using Barry M's pen liner to draw a line on the outer corner. Make sure that you extend it down and not up for a gyaru like eye. Drawing it downwards will open up your eyes and if extended low enough, can make doe eyes. Apply liquid eyeliner on the upper lash line. The line should thicken as you reach the outer corner. Go over the line created with the pen liner and line the inner corner. Make sure you don't line too near the tear duct. of the eye for a sultry smoky look but blend it well. Touch up the eyeliner if any disappeared. Now apply your favourite mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Fall Season Mascara. eyeliner and from the end of the extended line draw below your lashes using the inner corner as a guide of drawing straight and then curved. Colour the tear ducts black so that you don't see the light to skin. This will make the eye appear like the black liner is the actual shape of the eye. Use an angled brush and black eyeshadow going over the line and smoking it out. for the eyebrows. Use the same dark brown eyeshadow beforehand for contouring or something lighter and shape your brows. I don't have to fill mine in as much because they're pretty much shaped already. With the stiff brush, draw the line down the contoured area you did earlier. This will define the nose instantly. To make your nose appear thinner, extend the eyebrows further inwards. The less space you have between your brows, the thinner your nose will look. Then highlight with a white eyeshadow or other highlighter that will work well. blush on the cheeks, creating a sort of V-shape from the ear and to the nose. Find a pink lip gloss and lip liner. First, line the lips and fill them in with the lip liner. This will allow the lip gloss to stay on longer. Then, use the lip gloss over it. This particular lip gloss is the lightest I have at the moment, so I dull it down by blending it in with a finger.
Your eyes aren't finished yet. With the black liquid eyeliner, go over the lower line you created. Then smudge it out with an angled brush and black eyeshadow. You can really smudge it out if you want. Now, this is the basics of how I do my gyro look. This is without fake lashes, this is with one fake lash on, and this is with both fake upper lashes applied. With a gyro look, both upper and lower lashes finish the look entirely, but I don't have any lower lashes at the moment, so all you have to do is apply them on the line you drew earlier. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look out for my next video in two weeks time.